what's cool pokemon here today's video is kind of going to be a part two to the video that i uploaded last week showing the gigantic collection that i had just recently purchased if you haven't seen that video definitely recommend going back to watch that one part one was all of the english watsi cards that were included within this collection. Today's video is going to be part two, and this video is going to be all of the Nintendo era and modern cards that were included within this collection. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, there are a ton of cards to go through within this video here. So this first stack of cards are all played slash damaged condition cards, uh, basically meaning that they have some form of crease on the, on the back of the card. So for these types of cards right here, um, all of the like the bulkier cards, like all of these GXs and stuff right here, the Vs, uh, those I'll probably just put into a big lot and send them to eBay auction and sell them for whatever price. But some of the some of the better cards, like all of these Japanese cards, the EXs, the level Xs, stuff like that, those I'll set aside and just sell as single cards on whatnot. Those cards tend to do decently well on whatnot. Plus, it gives me some some good inventory to uh, to get rid of on on whatnot. Um, it's it's really quick to sell on there, so that's why that's why I like selling selling that type of stuff on on that platform. Next up, we have played condition. So these cards are a little bit better condition than these ones. These ones just have significant whiteness and scratches on the uh, the hollow foil portion. And again, similar to the the damage condition ones, um, same same type of strategy. All the all the bulkier type cards, I'll just lot together and sell via an eBay auction. Some of the some of the better cards, I will sell as singles on whatnot. So there's all of those ones right there. Getting into the excellent condition pile. Uh, so all of these are going to be excellent condition. We got some EXs, some level Xs, and then getting into the XY era. Same strategy with these ones. The better cards will be sold as singles on whatnot. And then the rest of them, I'll probably just make... I'll probably make a couple of lots out of them and uh, sell them that way. Uh, just as eBay auctions for whatever whatever price they go for. So there's part one of the excellent condition, and then part two of the excellent condition is right here. As you can see, a whole bunch of variety within within all of these cards. Now, this portion of the collection did include a I want to say it was about probably three or four hundred bulk uh, EXs, GXs, and V cards. All of the, you saw all of the excellent and played and damaged condition ones, but all of the near mint condition ones, I've already went ahead and listed those within my eBay store already. So you won't be seeing those within, within this video here. But uh, like I said, there was probably three or four hundred of those, maybe 50 EXs, a hundred GXs, and then the rest just bulk Vs that I listed, listed within my eBay store already. Uh, so this video, or this this stack of cards, you're going to be seeing all of the, the full arts, the secret rares, the shinies, all of all of that type of stuff. Uh, there is some some uh, promo EXs. I haven't haven't listed those just yet, but uh, for the most part, all of all of those cards are already listed within my eBay store. Um, that didn't take as long as I thought it would, so hopefully these all these full arts and stuff won't uh, won't take too too long. It is. I'm sure it's going to take me a a good bit of time, but uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised by how quickly the the other listings went. So hopefully hopefully this trend continues with with all of these cards. But um, so if I didn't mention it already, all of all of these cards that I'm showing you right here are in near mint condition. These ones are all going to be listed within my eBay store as individual cards at at some point in the in the near future. Uh, in my personal opinion. I find that even these types of cards do a lot better on eBay than they do TCG Player. Uh, they sell well on TCG Player, but the pricing that you get for these types of cards on TCG Player compared to eBay is, is a lot lower. Um, I've been selling... I've con been consistently selling the, the bulk Vs, GXs, and EXs that I had listed on eBay, or that I got listed on eBay. 
for between two and three dollars a piece, which doesn't sound like very much, but if you compare that to pricing you'd get on TCG Player, a lot of those same cards sell for between a dollar and a dollar fifty a piece. So, um, it's it's a little bit easy. It's definitely a lot easier to list the cards on TCG Player than it is on eBay because you don't have to worry about taking pictures and creating listings and all of that stuff. It's just uh, entering quantities and your actual your actual price point. But um, I do think you're able to get a uh, you're able to get more money out of these cards on eBay than than TCG Player. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with all of these. Uh, these will get listed on eBay instead of TCG Player, and then all the there's there's a whole bunch of bulk cards as well. So just like commons, uncommons, rares, reverse hollows, hollows, stuff like that. All of those types of cards, that stuff will get listed on TCG Player just because it's it's a lot easier and those types of cards do sell do sell a lot better on TCG Player than they do on eBay. Speaking of TCG Player, um, at some point I want to do kind of an updated video on TCG Player and kind of give in my updated thoughts on TCG Player. But if you guys have been following my eBay store for the past past month or so. You might have noticed that my active listings have gone down significantly. Um, at the peak, I was up around, I believe it was like 2,500 active eBay listings at one point. Now I'm down around 1,800 or so, which uh, I was down a lot further. I was down to I was down to about 1,500 for a little while, and then uh, I started listing listing all of these types of cards, uh, all the the EXs, GXs, and Vs, and that kind of brought me back up a, a good amount. But the reason I had fallen so far with my uh, with my eBay listings is because I removed all of my modern bulk cards. So all of those, those like non-hit cards are now removed from my eBay store and on TCG Player. So that's a, that's a fairly significant change that I recently did. Uh, so those are all of the near mint condition cards right over there. Next up is all of the gradable cards. Actually, these first two are just, uh, Two cards that I had listed on eBay, I gotta take back pictures just because of the, the price point that I list them at. So those ones I set aside, but all the rest of these are going to be gradable cards. Uh, I'm gonna send the vast majority of these cards off to CGC. Starting it off, we have two of the line error venonats. As you can see, it's got the it's got the line on the, uh, the side of the card right there. So we got two of those. Both of those are in fairly good condition. Um, I would call them near mint condition, so like PSA eight range. But because of the error, I thought I would go ahead and send those off to to CDC for grading. Next up, we have a Raichu break card. This is actually an error card where the back was printed upside down. So figured um, condition on it's pretty good. Probably a PSA eight condition on this one as well but I figured where it's the error I'd go ahead and send that off to just CGC as well now getting into the just kind of the the, the bulk of the submission here uh, these are all just really good condition so PSA 9 plus and more popular Pokemon so we got the Gengar we've got the Charizard we've got Shaman right there um, just just really good condition cards of more more popular Pokemon that I thought would be worthwhile to get graded. We got the Sleeping Tyranitar right there. Absolutely love that artwork right there. And this collection did have a decent amount of alt arts, which was which was really nice because I know those cards are fairly expensive right now. Um, there was none of the Umbreon alt arts from Evolving Skies, but there were a decent amount of all of the all of the other um, or most of the other alt arts. So those are all gradable cards. Um, next up, I haven't finished going through this collection just yet. So these are all the cards that I need to um, take out of all these sleeves, put into my, or take out of these sleeves, put into my designated grading piles, and then put into uh, the regular sleeves that I use. So we've got a whole bunch of the Celebrations Classic Collection cards right there. I have already removed, uh, there were a, a handful more of Celebrations cards. I did remove all of the, the Watsi era uh, Classic Collection Celebrations cards, just because um, I'm hoarding all of those right now. Uh, I really, really like those cards, and I'm kind of setting a whole bunch of those cards back, so 
that's why you didn't see any of the the Watsi era classic collection cards within within that pile right there and then the rest of these cards are all full art secret rare hyper rare um trainer and energy cards so again haven't gone through any of these cards for for condition just yet but uh Going through all of the other modern cards, for the most part, everything is near mint condition, which is nice. There's probably going to be a few that are excellent in played condition, but for the most part, everything everything is uh, pretty pretty near mint condition on all of this stuff, which definitely definitely helps. But um, so yeah, eventually I will start looking through all of those, sorting them out uh, based off of the grade. And all the near mint copies will get listed on eBay at some point in the semi near future. Now, last two things before we end this video. I thought these were really, really cool. So outside of all of these cards that I've shown you already, the seller did set aside. He was a big Mewtwo and Charizard collector. So he kind of set aside... Um, most of the Mewtwo and Charizard cards that he had and I thought it was just cool when he was when he was flipping through all of these within the uh the FaceTime call that we did he ha he did have all these cards in top loaders which made it look a lot nicer uh I took them out of top loaders just to just to save space but um so yeah when when I was looking through these cards originally on the the FaceTime video call he had them all in top loaders so it was kind of cool to, to watch him watch him flip through flip through everything but he said he was a big he really liked Mew and Mewtwo so he kind of set aside a whole bunch of Mewtwo and Mew cards which I thought was really cool um Mew and Mewtwo being being more popular I think these cards will do will do well um for the most part again any near mint copies will get listed on eBay uh anything below near mint I'll just set aside for one of my one of my whatnot streams and and sell them that way but I figured these cards would do would do well on eBay and on whatnot as well just because Mew and Mewtwo more popular Pokemon so I figured those would do decently well and then the final stack right here is all of the Charizard cards so We've seen a few in my, there was one in the grading pile, and then there was a few Celebrations uh, Charizard cards. Those ones I've already set aside. There were four or five um, of the, just the regular Charizard from Celebrations. And then there were two or three of the metal Charizards. So those ones I already took out and set aside. But here's all the rest of them that he had within within his collection. Um, like I said, I just I just thought that this was cool to see all the Charizards together. Um, there's for the most part there's there's a few that are worth a decent bit, but for the most part they're they're not worth a whole bunch. But just seeing them all together like this, I thought was thought was really cool. So I wanted to keep these together for this video, and then once once I finish recording this video, um, they'll kind of they'll kind of get separated by by condition and then by set um and i'll get them get them listed on ebay that way but i did want to uh did want to show those to you while they were all together still but anyway that is everything i have for today's video there is all of the modern cards like i said i believe this portion of the collection probably makes up about 30 to 40 percent of the total value within this collection purchase um, again, I purchased this collection for $20,000 plus shipping plus a middleman fee. So in total, I paid $20,750 for this collection. I believe I should do decently well on this collection. Um, I figured a rough kind of retail value for everything was around $30,000, 32000 So hopefully be able to make a decent bit. Obviously, it is going to take me absolutely forever to get all of these cards listed and sold on ebay but uh but yeah that is everything there there's also um a whole bunch of bulk cards but i won't even bother you bother showing you any of those uh but there are there's probably five to six maybe maybe a little bit more than that maybe six to eight six to eight thousand uh bulk cards for the most part they're um xy era to current there's Maybe about a thousand Watsy bulk cards as well. But um, but yeah, that is everything I have for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate the support, and I will see you in the next one.